Today we will take a look at another great app that will make your life easier. It's called Launch Buddy and in short, it's an alternative game launcher with a plethora of advanced settings, graphic profiles and an add-on manager. It was originally meant as an easy way to manage multiple accounts, but now, after years of development, you will widely benefit from its functions even with a single one. If you wanna know more about multiboxing, I have a whole series of videos on my channel, a link is down below. But first, let's address security concerns. With apps like this, you sure wanna know if your account credentials are safe. And the answer is yes. In fact, besides optional backup settings, you don't provide your credentials at all. It works like this. When you use the classic game launcher, your credentials are stored in an encrypted local.dat file. LaunchBuddy simply makes a copy of that file for each account, so it doesn't operate with your credentials directly, but swaps these encrypted game files on demand. Once you start the app and select the game directory, the first thing you wanna do is adding your account or accounts into it. Select the second tab Account Settings and click on Add. After you click on Set Login File, the classic game launcher will pop up. Fill in your credentials as usual, check Autoplay and click Login. Let the game load into the character screen and turn it off. And that's it. Now you can go to the Home tab select your account and launch it here from now on. However, there are other advanced features you are here for, so let's go back to the account settings. Here is the optional backup settings I've mentioned earlier, where you can actually provide your credentials to prevent rare login file corruption after game updates. It never happened to me and if it happens to you, the fix is incredibly easy. You just click on the Repair Login File and let it re-download a small update. The icon is self-explanatory, it's just for better visual representation in the Game Instance GUI. You can pick from pre-made ones or use your own images like me. It might seem unnecessary, but well-sorted icons help a lot with multiboxing. The Arguments tab allows you to launch the game with one or multiple available commands. You can read about their functions when you hover over. The most popular one is Map Load Info, which shows various map informations during loading and also slightly decreases loading times in some cases. Graphics configuration is where it begins to be interesting. Here you can pre-configure your graphic settings just like in the game. Each account can have a different profile. It's obviously useful for multiboxing, where you want to launch multiple games with the lowest settings, while using high ones for your main for example. You can also use the clone function, make few copies of one account and set a different profile for each one. It's the same deal for the next part called Injected Software, aka Add-on Manager. You can again set it for each account or its clone separately, so each will act like a profile where you can launch the game only with mods and settings you want. For example, I have two clones of my main account. First, with the high settings I use for the regular solo gameplay with ArcDPS, Reshade and Deco active on launch. And the second one with the lowest settings without any add-ons for multiboxing. Most add-ons use so-called DLL injectors. Long story short, you have to put the d3d9.dll file into the game bin folder, otherwise they don't work. 
since all files of all these add-ons needs to carry the same name and same place, they will obviously replace each other and this only one add-on will work at the same time. There was always a workaround called the chain loading, where you could rename those files in a very specific order, but it may or may not work, and if it does, add-on updating is always a hassle. And here comes LaunchBuddy with a simple and elegant solution. Instead of putting them into the bin folder, you create a separate folder for each add-on literally anywhere and set the path to it in this tab. It works with all add-ons using DLL injector and not just those meant for the game like ArcDPS, but also with the Reshade for example. The next tab is for Teco and Blishhut. Those two add-ons work differently, but again, you just select the path and choose if they auto-start with the game or you can launch them manually by clicking on their respective icons in the home tab after you launch the game. However, you have to set the path for those two in this Teco slash Blizzhut tab here first. In hotkeys you can't set much, it's just for a game window management. The most useful would be the focus one, that you can use to quickly switch game windows while multiboxing. And finally, advanced settings tab. Configure window settings lets you set the exact size and position of the game window on your screen after launch. You can also select default process priority just like in the windows task manager, but I would advise against it, since it may cause issues. If you have launch body for multiboxing and don't wanna use hotkeys for each window, there is this amazing game instances manager. Each active account is represented by an icon and name. It's always on top, so switching between windows is quick and easy. Also, I like to move it a bit off screen like this, so I see only icons. Neat. There is a drop down menu for each account where you can quickly close it or suspend it, which freezes the game window freeing its CPU load if necessary, and you can resume it later. However, if you let it be suspended for too long, the game will eventually crash. In the network settings you can manually choose login servers. Changes here may help if you have logging issues, but when it happens, it usually happens to all servers at once, so not much point toying with it in my opinion. Plugins tab is meant for auto-updating add-ons, however, it requires code support from their side, and as far as I know, none of them have it yet. So skip this tab and update add-ons manually in folders you've created for them. The add-ons tab has a bit misleading name, because it's not for the game add-ons. Those you set in the account settings as I've explained earlier. Here you can put other apps you wanna start together with LaunchBuddy, like let's say YOLO Mouse, Discord or even some media player. Any app will work. Cinema mode is supposed to give you a customized launcher screen similar to the beta one with your images, animations and music, but I've never made it work, no matter how hard I've tried. The crashes tab is self-explanatory, if something goes wrong, the report will be here. And finally, LB settings take care of the app itself. You can download the previous version if the newest one has some issues, disable auto-updates, or if you play only with one account, you can also disable unnecessary game instances GUI. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.